Let's now take a moment to hear a rhema word from the Holy Ghost, from the prophet's cave. God bless you. It's in my spirit to pray with you. Now, the ministry's phone number, again, is 475-300-3850. And it's a 24-hour number. You can call for prayer at any time. If you have a question about anything that the Lord used the ministry to minister during the broadcast, you can call and we could have a talk on the phone. We can uh, have telephone Bible study. That's what the ministry does as well. You got to understand the mission of the fivefold ministry is to fight the devil, but also to build up the body. Ephesians 4 says, that the, the fivefold ministry is for the perfecting of the saints, which means the maturing of the saints, the work of the ministry, which means service, and the edifying of the body of Christ, which means the building up of the body. So you can call the ministry 24 hours. It, listen, if it's three or four o'clock in the morning and the phone rang, and I hear it, which I normally will because it'll be right next to me. I have to wake up and answer it. And if you're in dire need of conversation or you need to vent or you want to talk, whatever, call the ministry. Call the ministry. The Lord will not lead the ministry to not talk with you. Call the ministry. You can do that. With no problem, call the ministry. Call the ministry. Call the ministry. To now, those that, to those that the Lord uses to support the street and outreach ministry, stuff that we do. May God replenish what you share. To those that say that they don't want to help the ministry or so into the street and outreach ministry. I mean, suppose it was you and you was out there in the cold and you just needed a box of Joe, a cup of coffee or something, food, anything. Everything the Lord used people to sow into the ministry is used for ministerial purposes. Even the ministry's phone bill, it's only $50 a month, but the phone bill just the phone is in the ministry's name, not mine. And it's used by God for people to call anytime. You don't believe it? Call right now, 475-300-3850. It's a 24-hour number. So that way people can get prayer or, or they can just talk or they can ask Bible questions. or I mean, you know, so into good ground. Not bad ground, good ground. I get no salary from the ministry, none. I, I, I say what Brother Paul said in the book of Romans, uh, and then I, I want to pray with you. But what he said in the book of Romans, chapter 1, uh, is, in, is in verse, it's in verse 14, he said, I am dead or both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein, the gospel of Christ, is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, one level of faith to the other, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Call the ministry, 475-300-3850. It don't matter. Whenever you watch this broadcast, whenever you watch this clip, call the ministry for prayer. I want to pray right now as the Lord lead me for somebody. I want to hear the Lord on the occasion. 
the purpose. I want to pray for that daughter that's trying to find her father. Father, in Jesus' name, listen, sister, cover your head. Just put your hand on top of your head if you don't got nothing to cover it with. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us for our sins and shortcomings and faults and wrongs. Bless that sister that you're talking about, because I don't know who she is. Bless that sister to be connected to her father. Bless that sister to talk to her father. Bless that sister to be able to reach out to her father. Bless their reunion or their union. That you get all the glory, the thanks, and the praise. If it's a father that's worried about his daughter, that loves her, and haven't seen her, because, Lord, you know there's some women that keep children from their father. I'm asking, Lord, that you show your mighty way to that father that's praying for his daughter. Show him your glory. Show him your glory. Let him know how you move. And I give you the glory, the thanks, and the praise for that, for blessing the father and the daughter. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I pray. Amen. Now, as the Lord lead, I'm led to pray for somebody who's being attacked by that spirit of insomnia. They can't sleep. Now, I say it's a blessing God got you up right now to watch this, but the Lord said there's been times you've been trying to sleep that you just can't go to sleep. There's things troubling you, bothering you. You're struggling with things. And you don't know how to get free. But the Holy Ghost placing it in my heart right now to tell you it don't matter if you're on social media or on television. It doesn't matter. God said put him to the proof. Put him to the proof. Repeat after me. And if you're a sister, cover your head. If you're a brother and you got a hat on, take it off. But repeat after me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, forgive me for my sins and shortcomings and my faults and my wrongs. Father, I'm powerless. I cannot go to sleep. I've tried doing everything I could to go to sleep. Nothing is working. Father, allow me to experience your perfect peace. Allow me to rest in you. Please bless me to go to sleep fast, to sleep all through the rest of the night, and to have a good dream. And please wake me up in the morning with a burning desire to serve you and to read your word, and to give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we pray. Amen. Now, this, this is a big one. I hear the Lord saying that there's some sisters that heard some stuff from the contact, content earlier tonight, a little while ago, and they have said the scriptures say one thing but they were taught another and they want to be able to come out of the bondage that they were in they want to be able to come out and they don't know how doctrinal bondage spiritual bondage they were they're, they're told if they don't sow financially into the ministry that they're at or that they're a part of on social media or, or if they're going in person, whatever, but they're told if they don't sow, they're not going to be blessed. So there's someone, maybe more than one, I don't know. I don't know. God knows. 
I'm just a vessel. But there's someone that need courage and prayer and that heard something in this broadcast, the prior broadcast, that 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 informed them. And they need wisdom on how to defend themselves verbally and spiritually. Let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, again, forgive us for our sins and shortcomings and faults and wrongs. Lord, whoever that person is, that have a good heart and people are taking advantage of their heart. I plead the blood over the person with the good heart and I plead the blood of Jesus against the person that's trying to steal from them, rob from them, trick them, bamboozle them, uh, uh, weigh them down. Lord, in Jesus' name, I'm asking you to open the door to provide a way of escape so that they don't be abused and go through that no more. Please, Father, as you said in Ezekiel 34, that you will remove the sheep so that they won't be made prey of and that the leader won't profit off of them. Please, Father. Bless your servant. Bless your servant. Bless your servant. Bless your servant. Help them. Help them, Lord. Dispense angels to go into the earth realm, right where they are, and to comfort them. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I pray. Amen. Now, I hear the Lord saying that someone is battling with COVID-19. They didn't do nothing to catch it. They were around the wrong people. Again, this might be more than one person. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I hear the Lord saying. And they need the Lord to move they need the Lord to give them wisdom on whether or not to go to the hospital or to uh, quarantine. They don't know what to do. But they, they know the symptoms are COVID-ish. And I'm going to pray for you right now. And it's going to be a powerful prayer because I'm going against the devil. If you're a woman, please cover your head. Because if you don't cover your head, if you're not lined up with the ordinances, with what the word of God says, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, again, I got to read it. Verse 1, Brother Paul said, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Again, that means with a veil, something on the top of his cranium, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head, for that is even our one as if she were shaven. Again, that head covering there means a veil. You got to go into the Greek and read it. It's, it means a veil that comes down from the top of the cranium down over the face. So if you're a man and you got, and this you're going through this COVID-19 thing, Take your hat off. If you got a hat on, a do-rag, anything, anything that's covering the top of your cranium, brother, take it off. If you got a prayer shawl, don't put it on your head right now. Don't do that. Don't cover your head. Stay with 1 Corinthians 11. Sisters, if you have a prayer shawl, please cover your head. If you have a bonnet, cover your head. Or a scarf, cover your head. Or if you, if you just have a, a rag or a towel, cover your head. And let's, let's go in prayer and attack this demon. Because that's, that's what this is, a demon. I hear the Lord say, get some oil. Okay. 
All right. I'll use this one. The oil don't do nothing, but it's a point of contact. Now I'm anointing my hands as the Lord lead, and I want to pray with you. Okay? Again, I'm praying for those that are watching by TV and those that are watching by Facebook or YouTube, any other social media. I got the prayers of the Lord lead me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. First, asking you to forgive us for our sins and shortcomings and false wrongs. You said there's none righteous, no, not one, Romans 3. You said, oh, I have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, Romans 3. But you said in 1 John 1 and 9, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In James chapter 5, you said that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, so we're lined up. Those of us men that have our head uncovered, we're lined up. Those sisters that have their head covered, they're lined up. And Lord, please lead us in this prayer. Lord, against that demon of coronavirus, we plead the blood against that demon. We got to go according to scripture. Matthew chapter 12, we're going to walk right according to scripture and do this the Bible way. Hold everything, Lord. So nothing, nothing goes away. Bless, bless us to do this. Bless both platforms to get this blessing and not just one. You said, Lord, you said in Matthew chapter 12, you said every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand and if satan casts out satan he is divided against himself how shall then his kingdom stand then you said lord if i by bills above cast out devils by whom do your children cast them out therefore they shall be your judges but if i cast out devils by the spirit of god then the kingdom of god has come unto you then you said in verse 29, or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? Oh, hallelujah. 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 We got to bind the strong man, and the strong man is Satan, and we're going to rob his house. We're going to cast those demons out. Lord, to the person that's going through this battle with COVID-19 right now, Lord, I ask that you forgive them for their sin and shortcoming and their faults and their wrongs. I ask, Lord, that you just, just forgive them, Lord, that you look and remember their sin no more. Lord, that you bottle their teardrops up in the bottle, Lord. I'm asking in Jesus' name, Father, that you just show them your glory. And on their behalf, please lead me to pray this prayer. Satan, I bind you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. I command you to leave that person alone and get out of their life. Go back to the pit of hell from where you came. In Jesus' name, I loose them from the grip of you satan i loose their health i loose their headache i loose their breathing i plead the blood over their lungs and through their veins oh in the holy name of jesus christ i command you satan to go back to the pit of hell and come back in their life no more every demon that works for you it don't matter what their name or rank is i plead the blood of jesus against him i command that spirit of COVID 19 to get out of that person's body get out of their life get out of their home get out of their family's life get out of their home just move get out in jesus name i command you to go back to the pit of hell from where you came i command you in jesus name not my name i command you in jesus name not by my 
power. I have none. But I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, the Lord raises a standard against you, Satan. You and your demons. That spirit of coronavirus. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. And I command you to go back to the pit of hell from where you came. And come back in that person's life no more. No more. Don't come nowhere near them because I plead the blood of Jesus over them as a covering. So you can't touch them. So you can't come near them. So you can't bother them. Oh, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. And Father, I ask that you dispense holy angels to go to those people's home, to go, Lord, to where they are and encamp themselves about the person so that that spirit can't come back and bother them again. Please, please, Father, please, please, Father, please, please, show them your glory. Show them your glory, God. Show them your glory. Got a struggle in the spirit. Satan, I rebuke you. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. Oh, I plead the blood against you. I command you to go. I command you to go back to the pit of hell from where you came. That's your jurisdiction. Jesus said it in Matthew 25 and 41. That's your jurisdiction. Go back to the pit of hell from where you came and come back this way no more. And Father, I ask you to bless those that was struggling with that demon that just prayed this prayer. The ones that you, you directed this prayer to and had it set for. In Jesus' name, I pray, man. Oh, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, there's a, there's a woman that walked out of her marriage. People talked her into it. She, she felt obligated to them. She didn't want to let them down because of either a contractual agreement or because they're family members. She don't know how to tell them to back off, to leave her alone. She don't know what to say or what to do. And every time she talks about her marriage, those people are telling her a lot of reasons why she shouldn't go back. But no one is using the word of God to justify the run. I'm led by the Lord to pray for her. It could be more than one, like I say, I don't know. I hear the Lord just saying to pray and I know that there are sisters with an S going through this. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us for our sins and shortcomings and false of ours. Bless that woman, that wife. Bless her. Help her. Lift her up. Put your armor on her so that the devil got her back up. Dispense angels to go around her. Lord, forgive her for even telling them people her business. Forgive her for even venting to them. Forgive her, because she didn't know no better. Forgive her for being mentally off balance. She don't know what to say or how to say it. Lord, she didn't have a nervous breakdown. I ask you, Lord, to strengthen her. Strengthen her mind. Give her perfect peace. Bless her to think on holy things and heavenly things, and things of good report. Bless her with the desire to go back where she belonged with her husband. 
and to cut off the family, to cut off the friends, to cut off everyone that's speaking against that marriage that you said, what God has joined together, let no man put us under. Please help her, because she needs you. Again, forgive her for her sins and dispense holy angels to go where she is right now. Operate according to that prophetic anointing on her life. Operate according to that evangelistic anointing on her life. Remind her of the word that you use her to teach and strengthen her. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. They are sisters, the Lord said, that he want to bless to be married. The Lord said that he has dispensed angels to put you in the path of a man of God to notice you, to see the part of you that God fashioned. But yet, the enemy has sent a hindering spirit to stop you from accepting what God is trying to give you. Because on the outside, the picture don't look right to you. But inside of you and your spirit, there's an inward witness saying softly and quietly, receive ye this. But in your mind, there's a loud voice speaking louder than the voice in your spirit. And, and you got to understand that voice is the enemy. And there's some brothers too, God said, who's going through this same battle. You're wondering, just like Joseph did, should I be with this woman? Should I keep her as my wife? And God is saying, yes, if she loves the Lord and is following him, don't give up on her. But she got to be loving the Lord. She, you, you know, you can't believe she's following him because she's saying, because we are too high-minded to look at ourselves and see what's wrong with us. But you got to go to God. Both of y'all, meaning male and female, to the women that God is trying to bless with marriage, you about to blow it. Go to God. To the men that God is trying to hand you your wife, man, you about to blow it. Go to God. Go to God. Go to God. Only he can give you a healthy wife. Only he can give you a healthy husband. Go to God. And the person God, you'll know that is God sending them because your heart, your spirit will, will want to let them in. Even though your mind is going the opposite way, go by what's in your spirit because that's where God talks. He don't talk here. He talks here. The enemy talk here. So there's a clash that go on inside of you. Your mind saying no, and your spirit man saying yes, or your mind saying yes, and your spirit man saying no. You, 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 you got to connect with God. You could even fast to get a clearer answer. If you have to fast for an hour a day, even 30 minutes a day, People telling you what Daniel fast is and all that. Read the book of Daniel, find out what kind of fast he did. Don't go about what nobody told you. But I, I would strongly encourage, if you can, to do an absolute fast. No water, no food. No liquid, no food. Even if it's for 15 minutes a day. What, 15 minutes? Yes. Anytime that you deny yourself so that your spirit can connect with God, you on the one. 
If 15 minutes is the best you can do to deny yourself everything that you like, then do it. Stay in the word. In John chapter 5, verse 39, here's what Jesus said. He said, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Get in the scripture. Feed your spirit, man, during your fast. If you're fasting for only 15 minutes a day, you can feed your spirit for 15 minutes. And God will honor that time. And when you come out of the fast, don't go doing all kind of crazy stuff because you don't want to mess your fast up. God wants to bless you, brother, with your wife. And he's trying to bless you, sister, with your husband. Don't let the click or any other person stop you from accepting your husband, sister, because you need him. And he needs you. And if he's a man of God and he's noticing you, you ought to be grateful because you didn't have bums. You didn't have guys that lie, cheat, steal, argue, cuss, fight, cheat, all of that. Do drugs, get high. You didn't have that kind of man in your life. You don't need that. God wouldn't give you nobody like that. He's not going to give you the husband that's going to keep leaving and going making babies and then coming back home, making babies, coming back. That's not God. You're in bondage. And my sister, you need to be free. Pray with me. Sisters, cover your head. Brothers, uncover yours. Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us for our sins. Please bless your children. The man of God, that you have his wife right in front of him, Lord, allow him to hear you clear like Elijah did in the book of 1 Kings. That woman of God who's praying for a husband. Ha! The one, oh Lord, that you have a husband for her and you've been trying to bless her and she's been hindered. Bless her, Lord, to hear instruction from you just like Ruth heard your voice through Naomi. Even though she didn't know it was you, but you gave her advice on how to get Boaz, how to present herself. Lord, there need to be some forgiveness and some mending going on. Please work all this out. To those that have forfeited, give them the strength to get over it and keep it moving. Because some things are just not going to work. Please have mercy. Please work things out according to your will and your way, because you're God. Help your children that they might receive what you have for them. And I plead the blood over them and against the enemy, and I plead the blood of Jesus over that covenant you're trying to form. I plead the blood of Jesus over the, the males and the women, the females. I plead the blood over them so that they hear you, so that they have that inward witness from you that say, go. Receive ye this. Ha ha na da sikia. Ey ya bo sha kan da da sika. I ya da bo sha tan da da seke tiara. Oh hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So let it be written. So let it be done. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I pray. Amen. Whew. Well. I got to go, I got to go, a week, got to go. Um, there's a link to the cash app button. It'd be a blessing if you let God use you to sow into, because the ministry does street and outreach ministry. There's people out there that's cold, that's sleeping on benches. I, we like to be able to bring them, go to Dunkin' Donuts, get a box of Joe, and bring it out there to the benches and give them a cup of hot coffee or to get some tea and bring us some hot tea or to go and get some 
a pizza or something and hand them a slice. Come on. The ministry operates by donations. And I'm very uncomfortable talking about this, but I got to say it as the Lord lead me. Like I said, I don't get no salary and, and not trying to get one either. I love the Lord. And with all that in me is, I'm willing to be used. I mean, come on. You see how long the Lord has been using? The, the first broadcast was, what, three hours, almost four hours? And now the Lord still got me going. It's because I love the Lord. And, and this ministry has been standing for 27 years and has helped many ministries get established. Because that's where the heart of this ministry is, with the Lord. So let the Lord use you to sow into the ministry to be a blessing so God can use the ministry to help even single young mothers that have children and they can't afford to buy pampers or milk or clothes for the babies or shoes. You know, babies grow out of shoes like that. Let the Lord use you to be a blessing. Help us to help others. Please, please do that. I'm not begging. I'm just saying, please, just let the Lord touch your heart. And I ask that the Lord replenish whatever you share. Let me pray over that right now. Father, in Jesus' name, uh, brothers, uncover your head and sisters, cover your head, okay? Father, in Jesus' name, forgive us for our sins and shortcomings and faults and wrongs. I ask, Lord, that those people of yours that you have given the gift of giving to, that, Lord, you put them right in the path of the ministry and use them to be a mighty blessing. Either one time or over and over again. It don't matter. That's between you and them. Lord, you know that whatever the ministry gets as a donation, it goes somewhere in the ministry to accomplish something for the ministry. Even if it's to get Bibles to hand out, even if it's to get Bibles to teach from, even if it's to get uh, DVDs to be able to record and hand them out in the street, it, whatever, whatever, you know, Father. So I'm asking you to take control. Touch your people that you've given the gift of giving to and replenish what you use them to share. Please, please, Father. Please, Father, I thank you for hearing this prayer and for answering it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. Oh, God. I got to go. May the Lord bless you. And um, stay encouraged. Remember, if you need prayer, or if you have a Bible question, or if you want to discuss anything you heard tonight, whether you was watching an earlier broadcast or this prayer, 475-300-3850. And it don't matter what time you call, okay? It don't matter. If you have an Echo Dot, that would be good, too. Because <laughs> you can put the ministry in your contacts and you can, we can talk by that. You know, the Alexa thing, the Echo Dot. Yeah. Anyway, God bless you. The ministry loves you. And um, just stay encouraged. Okay? God bless you. This was Taking a Moment to Hear a Rhema Word from the Holy Ghost coming from the Prophet's Cave. Thank you. See you next time.